okay everybody this is just a um simple tutorial to show how to upload samples enter sba data capture and sba upload of your for to the ors right so by now everybody is supposed to know how to get into the ors if not it's simple to just do a google search online registration and it brings you to this screen where you enter your user id password and period so i've entered my credentials click login so it brings you to this screen we would have done the registration now we're going into sba sba data capture the option would be preset once you log in it identifies the school you click a username and it would identify your subject then you select if you have a group sba or individual sba in my case it was an individual sba so since i've completed the grade capture so this is the screen where you would go into to upload the data entry or to enter the data in terms of the students ranking on the merit list their estimated grade and the SBA marks under each profile. Since I have completed that already, it brought me to this page where the information is completed. I don't, I, and I'm unable to go back to that page, right? So the grade capture, you would have to enter into each field on the grade capture for the student, their merit, their ranking on the merit list, the estimated grade and the marks under each profile. In order to move on to the other candidate, you have to complete each field for the particular student. In other words, the system doesn't allow you to move on if the data you enter is incomplete for a candidate. Okay? When you are finished with that great data capture, this is the screen you will get where you're going to see a number of groups. In my case, it's 14 candidates. So 14 groups because it counts each one as an individual. So this is a shot of the information that you will be required to enter. Sequence number is automatically inserted. The first name, last name comes up automatically because these would, would have been the students assigned. These would be the ranks you will fill in, the grade you will fill in, in the group, if you have groups, or if you have individuals, it will number it sequentially, and each profile, total, and no SBA, you leave that set at no. It's, it's preset on the system, it's defaulted to no, okay? So if, for example, you're entering and you forget rank and try to move on to your second candidate the system will generate an error okay so this is exactly how the fields will look mine has already been entered you have the option after you enter to export to excel or to save okay so when you have completed that initial data entry it the system will bring you back to the home screen you go back into SBA and you click again on SBA data capture. Remember, that's how we got to that screen where we were before. And as I said, once you have logged in, the information is automatically there. And what you will be concerned with next would be upload. So you click on the upload button to upload your SBAs. When you click on the upload button, what the system does is it generates a drop box. This here is a drop box for each candidate or each group in the case of the persons doing group SBAs. So for example, Avery Awong, who is my first student entered, will have a drop box for himself. You can click here to drag and drop files. So I can click there and go into my desktop let's say for example click on the file and simply drag that file and drop it into the window okay so you see the file will take a while to upload when the file says that it has completed uploading you simply click upload 
in my case i don't want this file to be uploaded it was just for um tutorial purposes so i'm removing it when you are finished you click send email confirmation to confirm that the samples the sbas sorry not samples because we now have to upload all were sent so in the case of avery awong one two three four documents were sent or four four docu three documents a zip folder and the cover sheet so you have to remember to include the cover sheet for each student when you go back you click and you send your confirmation email it takes you back to your home screen and in your home screen you can generate a report based on what SBA was uploaded. So for example, you can click SBA report, um, select report type and go into SBA candidates who did not submit with zeros, candidates without scores, forward status, samples, scores, etc. to see um, a, a spreadsheet or a report of the samples that were actually uploaded together with the marks. Okay? I hope that this tutorial has helped you all. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.